everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on Data Science and Machine Learning Terminology Series. In this video, we shall learn about correlation. So what is correlation? Correlation is a measure, correlation coefficient is a measure of relation between two random variables. So mathematically, if you look at correlation is between x and y, where x is x and y are two random variables, it's given by covariance of x and y divided by the product of their standard deviations. All right, and this is Pearson co correlation coefficient. All right, so if you want to understand more co conceptually, so let's say you have two different, let me put the formula somewhere. So correlation of x and y is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by standard deviation of x, standard deviation of y, that's your formula for correlation. Usually we don't really compute correlation manually because we have all kind of tools in Greek Python it does it for us. All right. Let's understand what is correlation. Let's say you have you have uh, uh, two variables. One is discounts of a let's say retail store like Amazon and the other one is sales. Okay. We know discounts and sales are somehow related. They're independent variables, random variables. So discounts, let's say we have 10% discount, 20% discount, 30% discount, 40% discount, 50% discounts. Nowadays they are going way above the, you know, 70, 80, 90% discounts. All right. This, uh, and let's say sales, we have, uh, let me just move this entire thing a bit down. Okay. Okay. So sales is let's say in millions, let's say um, 50 million, 100 million, 150 million, 200 million dollars, million US dollars, okay? So we have some data, uh, let's say for 10%, we have a sales of here, for 20%, we have a sales of here, slightly more for 30%, we have a higher sales, for 40%, we have uh, somehow maybe sometimes, you know, lower, a bit lower sales, but overall, you see that, okay, what's happening? All right, overall, you see that uh, as the discount increases, the sales also increases. There is an increasing trend between this discount. They are actually positively correlated. Uh, this is what we call as positive correlation. If you try and draw a line, you see that the sales and discount have a positive relation, which means one increases, other also increases. Let me do it on Python. So let's say discounts. Discounts is, uh, I'm gonna say discounts as 10% discount, 20% discount, 30% discount, 40% discount, 50% discount. And I'm gonna just speculate the sales is equal to uh, a given here $60 million. And then you have, uh, 70 million dollars and then you have 100 million dollars then somehow the sales is reduced at 40 and 50 you have uh, 170 million dollars okay so this is your sales figures <clears throat> to find the correlation uh, there are many packages i'm going to use um, scientific python skypy as sp as a correlation Correlation. correlation coefficient. So I'm going to say I want to find a correlation between sales and discounts and it gives me a matrix uh, a, a, a array which, which has four values. This value represents correlation sales with the sales itself. So if you correlate sales with the sales itself, for example, so x with x itself, then you get one because obviously x and x are same variables so x with x itself will give you one similar manner uh, discounts with discounts itself also gives you one and this 0.82 represents sales correlation with the discounts remains same for discounts correlation is same as well okay so which means uh, x correlation with y is exactly the same as y correlation with x because that, that's how it is Okay, that's is this. This is a correlation, and this is actually positive correlation. Okay, this is actually a positive correlation. 
Okay. So let's look at the uh, the other side. Let me take another example for negative correlation. What can be an example for negative correlation? Let's say um, your body mass index. You know, body mass index is BMI, and let's say the speed a person can run, the maximum speed a person can run. Body mass index typically the, the healthy value is between let's say twenty to twenty four or twenty three or nineteen to twenty three. Anything less than 18, 17 becomes too thin. And if you have a BMI more than 25, 28, 30, you're becoming a little more heavier. So uh, I'm just going to put like uh, 18, 20, 24, let's say 26, and 30, and 28, and 30, of course. Um, these are speeds. Let's say speeds in kilometers per hour, miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Let's say uh, this is uh, 10, this is 15, this is 20, so on and so forth. As the people are more thinner, have a lesser BMI, they tend to run faster. As the, the BMI goes up, you see that the speed is coming down. Okay, and this is an example for your negative correlation. And if you try to draw it in a scale, uh, the correlation can go from minus 1 to plus 1. Zero being the no correlation. So when you say zero, the graph for no correlation might look like this. It does not have uh, whatever happens to x. The another variable y does not have an effect at all. So they are not influenced by each other's value. Then you say zero correlation. So plus one is the highest correlation happens when x is correlated with x itself, and minus one is the lowest possible correlation happens when x is correlated with minus x. The same variable with a negative of it. All right, and then all of the values here. So anything less than 0.5 uh, minus 0.5 can be taken as strong negative correlation, negative correlation, and anything more than 0.5 or more than 0.6, subjective of course. So let's say more than 0.5 positive is taken as strong positive correlation. And in the middle, whatever values it is actually weak correlation. It's a weak positive, and this is weak negative. Okay, the correlation gives you a relation between the variables, which might be very helpful in many of the statistical analysis, machine learning analysis, and uh, machine learning modeling. Uh, so correlation is important. Variable. So correlation is a bivariant, as you can see. This can only work with two variables. It's a bivariant analysis. Bivariant. Analysis. So when you are seeking relation between two variables, you go with correlation. All right, so that's correlation. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe and click notification. I'll see you in the next video.